Yo, what's up guys, Jolby here, and a lot of you were asking me to do update about me lady token, and like you probably saw if you watched this video, they actually pumped over 100% last 24 hours. Every single token pumped, but uh, since this is like over 40 million market cap, honestly this uh, surprised me as well, because I really didn't know that they will have like so much liquidity going into it, to make over 100%. So today we are going to go through wallets which were buying and why at the end this went so parabolic. But before that, before I start, I need to say that I'm not Philasha advisor. And after that, if you are going to buy right now, uh, I just want to say that this is all like insider play or that this was only hype and that I would on if I'm on your place, I would not buy into it right now because there was no announcement uh, on their uh, Twitter. There was nothing new. So basically they just like tweeting usual stuff like uh, picture and then some like text and th that's everything. So there was a nothing announced so this was like i said pure hype and now if we go to their website they actually made a lot of like exchanges since my last like update you can see that they have bybit they have how big aid budget kucoin and those usual exchanges which, which are like uh, pretty much really really early listing or all, all these like hype tokens so then i went to their creator wallet and that wallet was unactive for 31 day so there was nothing like what i could like figure out that, that there is something going on so maybe i can get something to like give you about that but like like i said like there was nothing only thing is that this kind of like got hyped today uh, no influencer were pushing it and they actually got 1% of new holders today so right now they, they are on like 15,880 holders which like I said is just amazing if you are following my channel you know that I'm like not supporting any of those tokens and I'm not holding any penny of uh, ladies but over here i'm just trying to give you update and look on etherscan to see if we can like figure out something new and then maybe i can he help you out with your own research if we go to their multi-sig wallet since they were launched since they like like minted five percent of whole supply they were not touching it they never even like send ethereum to that wallet so nothing new but if we go to their holders there is something what is worth watching so for example you see that they have a lot of wallets in of exchanges in top 10 you you can see like all those exchanges but then over here we have like two wallets which are holding insane amount of uh, tokens so first one is actually really important one which I had like some issues with for example if we click on it you can see that since it received first token he's only receiving on those tokens he's never like transferring away and this is wallet which I think that have a lot of to do with uh, why this is going so much up because they're holding insane amounts and they're only like buying more and more and this is the wallet which are which is kind of like holding the floor i have no clue if this wallet knows something what we don't i even try to like connect it to exchanges i try to look all these like transactions they're coming to from like another exchanges from crypto.com from Huobi, from all other exchanges and i even try to like uh, look at the twitter to find out who is holding that wallet but there is just like bunch of i would probably say like bots which are tweeting that address so i don't really know if i i can like connect it to some some exchange or not but no matter what this wallet is only receiving tokens from another exchanges which means maybe someone is buying a lot i guess you will need to make that decision for yourself to what is this wallet then we have another wallet which is holding eight 
8% of whole total, su total supply and this wallet is also unactive and like you can see for past like 40 days he was like selling tokens but then he stopped and I have no clue what we can expect from this wallet. Thing is if we go to his transactions and buys you can see that this wallet is extremely active but like I said he is not selling any for past 39 days. And what is really really important to say about this wallet is that uh, this wallet is the that one wallet which you probably heard like he, he bought Pepe token for $27 in the beginning before the team and this is the wallet which got blast blacklisted by uh, Pepe devs and you can see that he is holding 2.4 million dollars worth of Pepe and he will never ever be able to sell a single do dollar of Pepe be because uh, they run out ownership so there is no way that those tokens will ever reach uh, circulating supply because once you burn the contract you cannot unban it anymore so you can say that those tokens are now burned and this money is gone. So then you probably asking what did I found about all these like other wallets so all these like uh, top top holders they're like uh, really nice uh, holders because they're only buying and none of them are selling but the thing is if we scroll a bit down like over here around like top 30 holders if we open every single one of those wallet they are same people behind it. So now you probably think that I'm over here lying to you just so I get some extra views but I'm actually not lying because if you check every single one of those wallet they are doing the same thing. You can see that this guy got transferred the tokens and then he did two transactions he sent it away. This guy if we go to their wallet he's holding only that token and nothing else. Then this is another guy he got transferred tokens. He also did two transactions. If you go to his wallet, he also didn't do anything else than that. Another wallet gone transfer rate, two transactions away. If you go to wallet, he didn't do anything. Next wallet, same thing. If you go over here, same. Another wallet, he tr go transfer red tokens and then he transferred a bit more away. Then we go to his wallet, he didn't do anything as well. Another wallet, same thing, a bit more transactions and in his wallet he also didn't do anything in instead of that. And uh, I could s show you like way more wallets but uh, I don't think this is important. You see what I'm trying to say. As always you need to keep track on those wallets. So if you are invested in this token I'm not saying that you need to be or that you should not. I I'm definitely not going to invest in something what is 40 million market cap and what is full meme. But the thing is you need as a holder, as an investor because you need to follow your uh, investments. You you need to follow every single one of those wallets, there is plenty of them, over like 100 top holders, and then every single day or every hour, I don't know, like how much money you have in it, that that much effort you should put in it but like right now they're not selling and as soon you see that they're starting to sell you probably want to exit as well because if those huge holders which can dump this like this is 1.2 million um, of liquidity and every single one of them is holding like one fourth of whole liquidity so if they start to dump they will dump it if they want pretty pretty fast and you don't want to be caught and holding your bag because you will probably get destroyed and that's all if you want more videos about any other token just let me know and i will gladly make it so please subscribe and see you guys in next one